Hey, what's going on? It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video. Today's video is going to be all about the RXTX 300. <laughs> all right, so this video is going to be about the top five things I dislike. I'm going to make an, another video also in the future. Uh, video where it's gonna be the top five things I like about it. Also too, another future video is gonna be a comparison of which one I like more, my RX TX 300 or my RX TX 300. A lot of people have asked about that. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna do a video. Uh, so many people ask, I'm like, it's, there's pros and cons between both and I'm gonna basically lay it out. If I had to pick one, which one it's gonna be. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, smash it. Stay tuned to future videos, cause man, it's gonna be the content to be cool. Also too, if you haven't picked up any of your I Am Beowulf merch, I got t-shirts, tank tops, hats, sweatshirts. I'll have a link up top, link at the bottom, check it out. Um, also too, I'm, I'm planning on having some other newer hats too that aren't just RXPX and RXTX related hats. Um, let me know if that's something you guys are interested. In. You know, some of the other people have other CDUs. There's not really merch for you, and I, I'll make it happen if, uh, if there's a demand I'll, I'll, to my viewers, my subscribers, I'll make it happen. So DM me on Instagram if that's something you'd like to see happen, and I can put you on a pre-order list with that. So when it comes out, you'll be the first one to have it. Uh, also too, check out my website. I have links under my gear section at imbaywolf.com and the ride section of my show. Like, different accessories I use in this. The gear can come from cameras, it can be coming like drones, uh, fitness, um, just in general, a lot of the different gear, like from Jet Tribe stuff I use, um, out riding, uh, like distress beacons and all that, it's just so much. Just make sure you take a look at that too. Also too, if you haven't found me yet on Instagram, it's I am underscore Beowulf at the bottom. And uh, let's get this going, because I know you guys want to know, if you're in the market, buying one, you kind of want to know, hey, what does he just like? What are the top five things I just don't understand? See you, if you're watching this, why did it happen like this? Because it's stuff that I, I dislike. Top five things I don't like about this RXTX 300. Let's get at it. So, first thing, sponsors. Why well, I don't understand, if you're not familiar with it, the base model RXT, Runs a different sponsor than this. If you buy the GTX Limited, it has a different sponsor than this. I'm pretty positive the Fish Pro runs a different sponsor than this. So there's like, what, technically three, maybe four different sponsors with it? I don't understand it. Now with my RXPX, I have adjustable sponsors. And actually, you know, all right, well you can say, hey, well Reva makes one or you know other companies out there, but, if one already comes standard with it and they're adjustable, see dude, what the heck's this? I mean, easily you could have had adjustable ones and spent a little money into doing it. I dislike it because I know the ones are out there Reba, I think they're about five, 600 bucks. That's a lot of money when that jet ski came standard like that. And uh, and the previous RXTS model had adjustable ones. So it confused me why that was done like that. It's, it's probably like, the number one thing that kind of just irritates me because if I've seen people buy one of these brand new and they change different sponsors and everything it's like it's buying like comparing like if you bought a, a Porsche or something and it has like one could have adjustable wing and one has it fixed I mean you'd be kind of like hey what the heck why can't I adjust mine and um, the hard thing is like you know like you don't know if you go um, buy one of these adjustable ones if it rides better or not and like you have to spend the money on something that you did, didn't have to. Uh, that's a big ice in the cake of the thing I hit the most. Now let's talk about number two. This is a crucial thing here. I'll bring you guys in closer so you can see everything. My opinion with doing maintenance on one of these. Now if you're not familiar and don't own one of these, um, the new thing is you got this Link. L-I-N-Q. Link. Uh, system so you can get these different attachments like fuel jog, you got the storage thing. Hey, it looks all cool, right? Yeah, whoa, whoa, real nice. Well, you can take the rear seat off and ride this where it's a one seater, which I think is totally awesome. But there are all these bolts you have to remove to take this off to do any maintenance. 
So if it's one little thing you wanna check, and you couldn't check while you're riding, I wouldn't suggest with waves and all that, start ripping these all apart, cause like one, you need to have a wrench underneath, and uh, to remove the, the bottom bolt, the front too. And you don't wanna drop none of these or lose them, and you got some like right in here. I hate this design. I actually think it's one of the things I dislike every time I have to do a maintenance. They climb it like this because you can get in the areas easier. I think it makes it really difficult and time consuming to take it on and off. Um, I don't understand why it was made like that. Um, that's number two. Now, this actually give us a good view of what I'm gonna get at number three. Now, if you look close, right there you can see the RXPX 300. This was changed to 2018 and up. Here's the handlebars with the the 2018 and up RXT, and I think they're all pretty much to share the same with this body cell. Here you got ones that are basically like a race style one that's on that ski. The handlebars can go up and down. This can tilt, so this is all plastic. And there is some play, like when you're riding with this, where you think you're going straight, and you're not. It's it just, it's, you know, like here again, you go buy one that Reva Racing sells, but it's like a thousand something bucks. And, and it looks kind of goofy because, I don't know if you can see there, it kind of fits just right, the body's made differently. Because originally when the RXPX came out in 2012, it was kind of looked something like this, but not, and they improved it um, to be like that. And I just think, you know, like I just don't, this is all plastic here. There's metal underneath, but it's all plastic. I just like that. And I wish it was like the other one. But again, thousand bucks, is it worth it? Maybe, maybe not, but that's the thing I dislike. So that's number three. This is number four. It's the mats they use here. So this is all flat. The hard thing is there's no grip to this system to put your feet in here. It's all smooth. The, actually the RXPX has it where there's grooves, where it's a CD, so you get really good traction. So there's no traction at these. And again, it's a lot of work to rip these all out to put, you know, there's aftermarket brands out there, but again, it's, they're not super expensive, but I think that's number four. That's like an aggravating thing. Um, the other aggravating thing too, that I had to probably say, I was, I was trying to think of what my last fifth one was gonna be, and actually, I can show you, because it, it broke. All right, so this is number five. This is another aggravating thing. You can see this is broken. Well, you don't have a lot of storage here. I mean, you basically can, I don't know what you can put in here. It's very little heavy. Usually when I'm filming, I put my GoPro in here because it's easy to get to. Again, the RXPX has massive storage. You can just pull and put stuff. A lot of it's taken up because it has the USB. You can put your phone in there, which is awesome. It's waterproof. Well, what happened is this thing, and I'm very careful when I shut it, uh, it broke. So there's no way of keeping this from, yeah. That's aggravating. All I was sticking in there was a little GoPro. And I have to tell you, that's like kind of aggravating that something like that got wrecked. That's probably like top five. Yeah, so I have to replace this whole thing because um, of that breaking. So it might not seem like a lot of things wrong, but that's probably like the top thing, five things I dislike. It doesn't seem like a lot. It's not the end of the world. The sky is not falling. But if you're in the market looking at those, I kind of gave like, it is kind of a big deal breaker. The main one thing I had is a six, but it's probably did a video talking about it, so it's like no point of repeating myself. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. I have more future content. Like I'm pretty much trying to do videos like every other day. It's hard doing daily. It takes a little time when you're editing. So I'm trying to do one every other day, basically. Um, if you haven't checked out the merch, it's iambaywolf.com. We'll have it at the bottom. Got the t-shirts, all that stuff. Um, that's a two. Follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. Be driven to win in life. Some people are kind of like not motivated to become something. It doesn't matter what it is, if it's with school, work, you're retired, you want to have a goal, put your mind through it. It's 2019, there's still time to put the goal through. Also too, remember every day is Earth Day. If you see trash in the ground, like this. Plastic bottle. You know what you do? 
Go find somewhere to recycle it and get it off the ground, get out of the water, all that. Don't be lazy and just go, not my problem. I really hope my viewers listen to that. It is a very crucial thing. If you haven't seen, we're kind of, if you're not in that routine yet, you don't want to be aggressive to people. I've seen videos where people like throw the trash back at them. It's planet people, and if people don't care about the planet, they should because it, we're not the last people who live here. Let's have it be a good place and change it around. I'll see you guys in the next video.